hi guys this is pearl and you are most welcome to today's tutorial for today we are going to focus on 10 main things you need to know before launching your website so what are the checklists you need to do what are the things you need to look out for before you launch your website let's get into it the first and most important thing to consider before you launch your website or the first checklist to do is to make sure that your website is secured because no one will want to use a website that is not secured. You have to make sure that you secure your website at all costs. Now, the most important thing or the main reason why you need to secure your website is because securing your website is very vital to anybody's online presence. So for me to come onto your website, I have to feel secure because it influences me to feel free on your website to do whatever or take any action I would want to take in your website. Now, once you secure your website, this prevents other programs or other networks, autonomous networks and programs from interfering with your website and it makes your website respond as you want it to respond. The second checklist to do before launching your website is to test the navigation and internal links. Now, navigation is very important when it comes to website creation because navigation makes your website user-friendly. And once your website is user-friendly, people or your website visitors are going to stay longer on that website and take whatever action you would want them to take. Now, to make sure that your, your website is neatly navigated or is appropriately navigated just make sure that your layout is in the right place make sure your website has a good layout once your website has a good layout your website visitors are going to be able to distinguish between one element from the other now when your website is properly navigated it does not allow the website viewers to struggle or think too much on what to do or where to find what that also contributes to making it user friendly when it comes to internal links make sure that whatever or each and every link you use inside your website responds as it's supposed to be or responds appropriately so when i click on a particular link that is supposed to send me to a specific page it should send me to that exact page and not redirect me to somewhere else which i know nothing about make sure that you cross check all your links and they are leading the link is leading your website visitor to the right page and not the wrong page now you can use dead link checker and also broken link checker to help you check all your internal links if your links are too many or a lot in your website now let's move on to the third checklist you need to consider before launching your website checklist number three is to proofread your content make sure that whatever content you use in creating your website is being proofread several times and thoroughly once you proofread your content then you know or you are very sure that every content inside your website is devoid of mistakes or is devoid of clutter if it's a text make sure that you are using the right font color and the right font size if it's too small your website viewers cannot read and if it's too big it's just it will be too much in the face of your website viewers and it might not even show properly on mobile phones make sure that your text is visible or every content you use is responsive on other devices now if it's a video make sure that the video is clear the graphics and the images used in the video is also very visible now when it's an audio make sure that the audio is loud and clear and whatever information that is in there is simple learn to use simple language that your website visitors or your target audience will be able to understand now you also have to learn to use a combination of content which is text or images videos or images or videos and text learn to use a combination because once you use a combination it's going to bring variety and balance inside your website let's move on to the fourth checklist you need to do before launching your website checklist number four is to secure an ssl certificate or a secure socket layer certificate now the purpose of this ssl certificate is to give your website a valid identity a very valid identity and it also enables you to use https to secure data transfer that is the purpose of an ssl certificate 
this SSL certificate is very important because it helps build trust and it also provides authentication. So what this means is that, or what authentication means is that when you, you make sure that you are sending information through the right server and not just any input star who will steal your information or who will use your information for scam or any other bad deeds. So it provides authentication and it also helps build trust. Now, another most important reason about this SSL certificate is that SSL encrypts sensitive information. So what this means is that information sent over the internet is being encrypted so that only the right recipients can have access to that information. So this, all these things are very important. That is why you must not neglect the facts to include or to get a valid SSL certificate for your website so that all the checks and balances can be in the right place or you can be secured your website can be secured and you don't have any issues with legal issues you don't have any issues with security you don't have any issues at all when it comes to getting a valid certificate for your website checklist number five is to have relevant ctas or relevant call to action buttons now call to action buttons are very important in your website and shouldn't be treated lightly at all your call to action buttons or your call to actions should make sense it should be precise concise and clear and whatever purpose your call to action is meant to achieve when your website visitor clicks on that call to action button they should see the exact result so for instance if your call to action says click now to download an ebook or click to download an ebook or click to read more when they click on that call to action button it should respond to exactly whatever message that is inside the call to action button so it should send them or lead them to the exact page to download the ebook or to read more or to take whatever action they will need to take call to actions are very important because it leads the web visitors to the down to the buyer's funnel and it also helps them take an important decision that they would want to take inside your website so spend more time to make sure that you come up with relevant call to action buttons and also leads the person to the right page to take the right action If you haven't hired a legal counsel for your website, you should consider doing so now because internet has rules and every industry also has certain rules and regulations that you need to follow or your website needs to comply to to avoid any illegal issues or avoid any issue that is going to make your website look bad or look illegal in the eyes of such companies or in the eyes of your website viewers most importantly now certain things you can look out for or certain things you need to incorporate inside your website to make sure that it's devoid of any legal complaint is make sure that your call to action has a terms of services to give the viewer more information about what to expect and what terms and conditions they are signing up for also make sure that you direct the user to use the cookies or to accept or decline the cookies which is very very important now the third thing you can also look out for is to ensure that all codes plugins images videos whatever you have incorporated in your website has been fully purchased and have the right licenses. These are few things you have to take into consideration to make sure that your website is free from any legal complaint and you'll be good to go and your website is going to do well and marvelously right. Now just take these few considerations and what to do to make sure that your website is free from any legal complaint and your website will yield successful results without any disturbance. Another most important thing to consider is to check the mobile friendliness of your website. Make sure that your website being accessed on the mobile phone works as it's supposed to be when it's being opened or when it's being accessed on a laptop or a desktop. Your website shouldn't look different on a mobile phone or it shouldn't be difficult to use on a mobile phone. So anytime you create your website, it is very important to test it on different devices, especially a mobile phone, so that you can be sure that your website is friendly on the mobile phone and whatever information your website visitors need to have access to can also easily be accessed using a mobile phone now anytime you are building a website or before you even launch your website in the first place 
you are also supposed to consider how it will be viewed on other devices aside the phone you also you have to do a constant check or you have to do checks on different 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 devices just to make sure that your website is very responsive and also very user friendly on any other devices at all any other device at all and this makes it more easily accessible and it gives it a wider reach to any website viewer at all to have access to your website the next checklist to do before you launch your website is to check your website or test your website in different browsers how is your website responding in different browsers it is more likely that your website will respond perfectly in one browser and will not respond so well in a different browser so it's very important to use a lot of browsers and test your website on it now the most popular browsers people use or commonly use is opera safari internet explorer you can also use edge you can use all these popular popular browsers to test how your website is responding in that particular browser and if it's not responding well how do you fix the problem so do not ignore this direction or do not ignore this very important thing you need to do by checking your website on different browsers now if your website is working on different browsers then you are confident enough to publish it or let it go viral for everyone to have access to it regardless the browser he or she would like to use the next thing to consider is to make sure that your website is easily accessible that is another very important checklist to do before you even launch your website in the first place now creating a website is not all about design it's not all about responsiveness all these things are very important but having access or having easy access to your website is also very very important because if you've created a website your website is beautiful it has the right content it has juicy information and people can have access to it then what is the point because you've been losing out on a wider audience so make sure that your website can be easily accessible anywhere and by anyone at all that is very important now let's move on to the 10th thing you need to consider before launching your website the 10th checklist or checklist number 10 to do before you finally launch your website or before it finally goes public is to make sure that you have a clear payment plan having a clear payment plan is very important because that is the main that is the result you want to achieve at the end of the day okay make sure that your payment plan is clear is specific and is real it shouldn't be something that will create confusion in the minds of your site visitors or your site consumers once it creates confusion or they are not sure of what to do, they are not even going to make payments at all and also make sure that whatever you promise them or whatever payment plan that has been scheduled for them is the exact thing they will receive once they've made the payment if it's not the exact thing that means you are deceiving your online visitors or you are receiving your online consumer and they are never ever going to purchase anything on your website again make sure that you also provide different ways of payment or different means of payment to whatever information they need to have access to in your website this makes things easier and it gives people a lot of options on which payments they can do and also how they can make that payment in the first place so these are 10 things or 10 checklists you can continue consider before launching your new website in the first place now let me give you a summary of everything i have said for today to summarize everything for today on checklist before launching your website or the checklist you're supposed to do before launching your website is one make sure that your website is secured two make sure that you test for internal links and navigation three make sure that you also proofread your content make sure that every content you use is clear and is correct devoid of mistakes the fourth thing is to make sure that you have a valid ssl certificate then also make sure that you have relevant ctas the sixth thing to ensure is to make sure that your website is devoid of any legal complaint the seventh thing is to check for mobile friendliness 
the eighth thing is to check your websites on different browsers to see how they are working the ninth thing is to make sure your website is easily accessible by anyone at all and the last thing or the last checklist before launching your website is to make sure that your website has a clear and a real payment plan system to make everybody or to make things simplified for your website visitors to make payments when they want to okay people this brings us to the end of today's tutorial on the checklist you're supposed to follow or the 10 checklists you're supposed to follow before you launch your new website i hope this tutorial was very useful thank you for sticking with me from the beginning to the end now if you have not subscribed to our channel can you do click on the subscribe button right below so that you will get a notification anytime we drop an educative content and you will watch that tutorial Thank you for subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next tutorial.